Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't personal space and personal boundaries. Personal space is the physical proximity of one person to another. In this time of COVID, that is a six foot space, unless of course we are interacting with someone who might be a part of our intimate family circle, such that we already know intimately information about their health care because that we have been allowing them into that trusted area. If someone is denied that information, it means you're not a part of that trusted area. Moreover, though, when we talk about intimacy between partners, we're really talking about people who have consensually decided to be a part of each other's lives in love areas, whether it be personally, in person, over the telephone, or in spirit. We don't know exactly because it's none of our business. But what I can tell you is that the people who are sexually harassing someone by shaving their beard off, which is a total violation of the law, it's a form of molestation, and for people who are shaving off secondary sex characteristics on a body without any permission at all, that is a form of molestation. But people who are getting themselves further down the stomach area, meaning into the pelvis area and into the pubic area, you are totally per perverted, you are totally committing a sex crime, and you are totally not welcome there, I guarantee it. Most people are very careful what they decide to do and how they decide to manicure their hair, whether it's on their head, on their face, on their body, or down there. And what I'm saying to you is you're foolish to do that, but it's also a total abomination of the Lord's plan for someone to think that you have the right to put someone out with some sort of audio technology, some sort of chemistry, and literally do electrolysis on them. Do you know how painful that is for that person to wake up? It feels like they've got pins and needles all over them. That is a form of abuse. It's definitely a form of physical assault. It's most